two tribes sworn to hate. Their blood-stained bodies left out in the open to rot. Their souls longing for a peace that they failed to find. As they sought to break the shackles of darkness and heal the wounds of the past, fate denied their quest and thrust them into war. The bridges of hope some dared to build between them were torn asunder. Their dreams were ripped from their hearts with a sword, with a destiny revealed at last. Zubagakure? The word came last night, and apparently he'll be spending a few days at Ogundona's villa. Can you pass the soup, please? He's not alone, is he? I believe Udono is with him. I don't know if that makes you feel any better. I'm curious as to how they met up. Well, who knows with him? He probably ran out of hot air and fell out of the sky. Hmm. What? I wanted to go! I've never been to Subagakure! Don't worry, you'll get your chance. There'll be plenty of opportunities in the future. That's the future! What about the present? What am I supposed to do? What do you mean, what are you supposed to do? I'm dying of boredom! It's not fair, Simon. You men aren't allowed to leave the compound. You're like prisoners. And it's all because of that demonstration in Sungu. Even Jubei got to go. I can't even take a walk with him. I beg your pardon? When have you ever taken a walk with Jubei? Please, refresh my memory. Well, what about Yobu? He promised to take me boar hunting. Well, that's true, and I know he was looking forward to it. But duty first. We must be vigilant while Danjo-sama's gone. You can wait longer. You'll survive. <laughs> hey, why don't you go boar hunting with us when he gets back? Thanks. But I don't think so. It sounds like fun, but I prefer a nice, relaxing day of fishing to cleanse the soul. Come on, brother. You could be our decoy. You mean you would feed me to a boar? Shame on you. You should show your older brother more respect than that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, by the way, Okoy, I have a special request to ask of you. I can't believe this is happening. How can he marry an eagle woman? Not a slap in the face. It's not right. Stop. That's enough, Kagero. Put your personal interests aside for once. Genosuke-sama has thought this through carefully. With all of us in mind, 
You may not accept it, but it's the best thing for our future. Is it, Hioma? I'm not sure. It's nice talk, but it sounds like you're still trying to convince yourself of that. Maybe so, but perhaps that stems from my own weakness. It's easy to cling to old ways, but what Genosuke Sama is doing takes true courage. I still think that he's wrong. <sighs> no one wants this peace with the Iga. There's no need for this marriage. I'm not even sure Genosuke Sama is in love with Obero. If he truly respected her, he wouldn't be meeting her before a ceremony is even held. What kind of woman would consent to that? We should kill that little tramp! Kagero! That's enough! We'll have no more talk like that. We will all support Genosuke Sama's decision, and that's final. But still, that doesn't mean we should blindly trust the Iga. Jubei saw ominous signs for Danjo Sama, and he still hasn't returned. Genosuke Sama's safety is as vital as our own breath. Do you wish for me to go and check on him at Tsubagakure? There's no need to worry. I've already sent a koi. She should be on her way there now. A wise choice, Simon. She'll attract less attention. The ego won't be as wary of a woman. True. And Genosuke Sama won't be nearly as angry if a koi comes for him. He'd kill me. Yes, my thoughts exactly. Then we'll wait for her return. <gasps> Someone's approaching. The ninja footsteps, coming from the north. Sunpu is north. Maybe it's Danjo summer returning. No, the head count is different. Let's see. There are five and one is a woman. I sense aggression in their stride. They are definitely not Koga. Have either of you seen Udono this morning? No, not this morning, but I did see him last night. I wasn't going to say anything, but he paid several imprudent visits to my room late in the night. He didn't. What happened? Mm. Akaginyu, what is it? Don't tell me you... Oh no, I promise you, he's just fine. But I'm afraid that perhaps my rejection may have been too harsh. Too harsh? What did you say to him? Well, I... I called him a fat pig and said he was repulsive. It was awful. He suddenly grew silent and that look on his face. Akakinyu, that's terrible. <laughs> I thought you'd be angry. For what? We can't blame Akagenyu Dono for telling Josuke that she's not interested in him. No, I guess not. But she could have told him in a nicer way. Josuke's not one to take subtle hints, trust me. It was good for him. Akagenyu Dono, I am sorry that he has caused you so much trouble. Please, do not bow, Genosuke sama Now that the mystery is solved, I'd be honored if you showed me Ogundono's prized garden. I'd love to. Akaginyu? Yes? Do you know if Tenzin and the others have returned yet? Uh, no. I don't think so. Not yet. That's strange. Where could they have gone? So many years have passed. What a fine tree it has become. Now. Right. <laughs> One Koga is dead. He is but the first of many.
It seems too quiet. There's no need for concern. We are merely humble couriers sent to deliver a message from Genosuke. Yes, I like it. Excellent plan. Since we know the names of the Koga Ten, it might be possible to lure them out. We could say that the message we have is for them. Let's go. This fog will work to our advantage. Yes, it will provide the perfect cover. Let us slay the Koga Ten before it clears. Let's not take unnecessary chances. Kazumachi was a formidable opponent alone. What is it, Kishiro? Someone's here. What the hell is happening to you? Rasai, what are you doing? That wall, it spoke to me. It said there are no secrets from the walls of Manjidani. <laughs> Intruders! Intruders have entered Manjidani! Please wait. You're making a big mistake. Our presence here is peaceful. We come from Subagakari bearing a message from Genosuke-sama. Fool! Do you really think we're going to fall for that trick? Tell us, friend, if you were sent from Subagakari, why did you come in from the north? And if you were truly messengers, then why were you masking your words? Don't let them get away! Attack! Prepare yourself! Go! Show no mercy!
fall for the same trick twice. Stand firm. Those who dare to attack Manjadani must pay the price. Mark my words, Giga. You won't leave here alive. Is that so? <clears throat> Get them! Yobu, that's enough! You there, Iga. Tell me, what sort of madness is this? I can assure you, any madness lies with you Kogas. This is our first time to Manjadani. Is this how you receive your visitors? We detain only those who act suspicious. Surely you can understand that. We've done nothing since we arrived but defend ourselves. You gave us no choice. I believe this belongs to you. Be gone. You have no business in this place. It's quite clear to us now how you Koga operate. If you and your Koga ninja should ever pay a visit to Subagakure, you will be embraced with the same greeting we've received here. Only you won't walk away to tell about it! Yobu! Arise, arise, my sleeping fox. Out of the point of eyes, blind I fall on your back. You are a shield, you spread the world. Consume us with your soul, you are the storm in us. He must be an ego. What are you doing here?
Oberodona. What is it? I need a favor. Would you send a messenger to Manjadani for me, please? <sighs> it's not like Josuke to leave suddenly. I'm worried about him. I just want to be certain that he returns safely. I pray that my fears are unfounded. Of course. Consider it done. Thank you. Darkness pervading the sky seeps into the souls of men. As pounding rain falls, fervent prayers rise. Sinister hearts, plagued with heinous desires, long for the pure and forbidden fruit. The innocent shall be defiled, and another life will be lost. The truth struggles to find illumination, but the sun withholds its light. On the next Basilisk, longing in the rain.